Isaiah, welcome to Indy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Over the course of your seven years uh, and how teams have used you, and, and I guess they've tapped into everything that you do, what do you see your role is here, or has it even been defined or discussed much yet? Um, nothing has been talked about yet or discussed. Um, just coming in and doing what I got to do to, you know, help the team win, you know, get a role on this team, whatever that may be. And like I said, just come in, do my job and help the team win the best way I can. For anyone who's not seen you play, what do you bring? Um, speed, uh, competitiveness, the run with the football, catch the football, get open, separation. Um, anything needs to be done. I, I think I can do it. You know what I'm saying? I probably maybe even 50-50 ball. You never know. Um, uh, but I would say speed, competitiveness, toughness. You know what I'm saying? I'm always available. Always, you know, I bring a lot of energy, a lot of juice. And um, I feel like that's that's a start. Thank you. James Boyd. Isaiah, when you were weighing your options, what put Indy over the top, number one? And then number two, how do you think you've grown throughout your career having taken another step forward last season? Um, to answer your first question, what dropped me here was, you know, just talking to a couple guys, talking to a lot of guys, talking to my agent and talking to guys that I'm familiar with on this team. Um, it seemed who like a great some, place. Who are some of those guys, if you don't mind sharing? Uh, Kenny Moore, uh, Zach Moss, um, the, uh, Tony Brown, those guys that, you know, that, that have been here for a while and guys that have been here for a little bit, like Zach Moss, just talking it up and, you know, it's something new. And I feel like I, I feel like this is a it's a great opportunity for me to come over here with this receiver core, this young receiver core, and help them out the best way I can, and um, learn from Reg, Reggie Wayne as well as a receivers coach, and um, just bring the different ele different element to uh, you know to the game over here and to the scheme that we you know that we are looking looking for in our in our new offense. And um, to your for your second question, I feel like I've grown you know from a returner to a slot receiver. And I feel like my game is just getting better each and every year. And um, I'm learning more and more each and every year, like like I said. And um, I feel like I want to keep growing. And I feel like this is a place where I can come, grow, develop, and also help develop other guys around me. Joel Erickson. Isaiah, was it was it tough to see your time in Buffalo come to an end? You've been such a big part of what they've done over the last, you know, four or five years. Um, It was sad. It was a sad moment. I had a I had a sad moment because um yeah I, I had a I had a great I had a great time there great organization great fan base and every, you know everything about the place was amazing, um but it came to an end and I understand everything you know all good things don't last long, you try to you try to make the best of it while you know while the good is going gets while the goods gets going, and I feel like for me, it was you know my time was up and that was totally fine with me, and um now I get to start. With a, a new organization, start make new friends, make new family, and bring my game to a you know a good a good organization, a, a organization that's ready to you know take it to the next level. Did did they let you know ahead of time, like back in when the season ended, that that this might be a possibility, or, or did it kind uh, of more? No, I I learned on the fly, just like you know, <laughs> I learned on the fly as as time went on in the off season. I I I found out, and that was that. So. But no hard feelings. All right, Mike Chavel. I say it seems like everyone wants to pigeonhole guys. Are you a slot receiver or are you a receiver? Say that again. People want to pigeonhole players. Are you a slot receiver or are you a receiver? Uh, I feel like I'm versatile, so I would say I'm a receiver. But I would be. I'm, I mean, at my height and what I can do in the in the slot, and I can get more out of the slot position than I can outside, you know, I, I'm pretty sure bigger, bigger guys are outside, but I don't mind playing outside as well, but I would say I'm all around receiver, but um, I play in the slot and if they, if I'm playing in the slot on the outside, I'm just make it happen regardless. All right. I'm going to go one more here. James Boyd. Isaiah, obviously you leave um, a franchise that has a franchise quarterback and then you join this franchise, which doesn't really have that quarterback yeah. position defined yet. So, how did that weigh into your decision, and, and was that a factor at all? As a wide receiver, um, I wouldn't say it's a factor at all. You know, I, I think about I think of it this way. I think of it, I got to get open. I got to catch the football, no matter who's throwing me the football, no matter, you know, the circumstances, right? So, me as a receiver, my job is to 
get open and catch the football, and that's all I worry about. And then whoever's throwing me the ball, they throw me the ball. I catch it for them. I make them look good, or they make me look good, regardless of the fact. But um, you know, that's that's my take on it. You know, I get open and catch the football, no matter who's throwing it. I get I'm open and catching it. Doesn't matter who's throwing the football. All right, we actually got one more, uh, Joel Erickson. Isaiah, in, in Buffalo, you were kind of a fan favorite, somebody that everybody knew. Um, do you think that one of your strengths is just what you can do in this locker room and just kind of getting to know people right away before, before you know, camp's even started, football's even going? Yes. Um, yes. It, that's that's one, of, it was one of the things I got. You know, I feel like I got the, the energy, the vibe, the charisma, the, you know, the personality to, you know, fit in anywhere. And, uh, and adapt to my environment, but also not just adapt, but change the environment and change the way, you know, guys think and guys feel in a, in a positive way. And I feel like I, I've done a, a lot of that in Buffalo, coming into the locker room and just, you know, helping out, you know, mentally, in, in a mental, for the mental aspect, whether it's off the field or on the field. I feel like I'm one of those guys you can come to and talk to and um, get help from. And, you know, like I said, like you said, you know, a fan favorite over there. And I feel like I can come here and be a fan favorite here, be a locker room guy not only on the field, but off the field. How important is it to have that presence in the locker room where you can, you know, help people get, you know, get to the next level? I feel like it's very important. I feel like it's very important because, um, you know, some guys come in with, you know, the word potential. And, you know, some guys never reach their full potential because maybe they're upset you know, about, you know, what, what their role is or they're set or they're sad or, 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 or something's going on off the field or whatnot. And, and that happens, you know, and I feel like when, when a guy has potential, you can see it, but you're like, why is he not excelling? Why is he not reaching that potential? Maybe it's something, you know, in between the ears. And I feel like when you come in the locker room, you want to come to work. You want to feel like the guys want you there. You belong there and they're doing everything they can to help you mentally so you can go out there to, out on the field to perform physically. And I feel like that's where it, it kind of happened to me. You know, I got drafted by Denver in 2017, um, left there, uh, what came to Buffalo, and I've been there for the past, you know, past five years. And I feel like when I got into the locker room, I changed my mental space and I also helped guys in their in their mental space, you know, when it came to the locker room presence. And then on the field, you can see it. You know, the guys that came in from for the past five years or the past years, I was the longest tenor there. So I feel like I helped a lot of guys mentally in the locker room. So physically they can go out there and play their best football. All right. And one final one, Mike Chapel. Isaiah, you talk about reaching potential and all that. I'm sure you your game still has room to grow. Have you had interaction yet with Reggie Wayne and what might someone like him how might they impact your career? Um, not yet. I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty jacked up to meet him. But um I feel like, you know, he's he's done a great he's done a great things in the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Hall of Fame wide receiver. Um he's he's now he's a coach and I feel like he can teach me a lot. You know, I'm I'm on the I'm on the smaller side, but um, I feel like he can teach me a lot, you know, and I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for him to coach me up. I'm ready for him to learn from him and um just pick his brain and and give him my best efforts.